Hey everyone, this is Greg Savage from MachineMasters.com and today we're going to jump back into IR Response and Reason. The last video I uploaded, I seemed to upload the wrong version and it didn't display all the audio goodness that I wanted. So this time we're going to take some digital drums that I've created and make them take on the characteristics of some drums ripped from vinyl. So let's jump into that. Let me just set my loop markers. Nudge in here a little, a little better. I really want to isolate the single kick and try to get this pop out as much as possible. It doesn't need to be perfect though. All right, and here's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and take this loop, bring it into the convolution reverb unit, and we're going to hear how it sounds. Now what I want you mostly paying attention to here is the tonal quality that these drums are now taking. It's duller, it's warmer, and I would actually believe that that was ripped from a record or some type of lo-fi machine. This can also be done with a sample. and you're hearing the same thing. So hopefully that sounds better to you guys. Again, I apologize for the last video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments and questions in the description below. Remember, I don't know what to make unless you guys are giving suggestions. Um, the next tutorial that I do on IR is gonna be a dual one. I'm gonna show you how to record your own IR from scratch, and I'm gonna show you how to marry every sound that you have to the sample that you actually sample when you're making boom bap. Also be sure you check out Mateo's mix analysis on Kendrick Lamar. Let me know what you think about it.